Hey, what's up, uh, everybody? Long time no see. My name is Westwood Sal, and welcome to my reviews. I have been gone for quite some time because I just I realized that last semester, the, the the one before last one, I did YouTube with my college work, and my grades kind of slipped. So last semester, I did college without YouTube, and my grades improved by a mile. You know, so. Because of that break, I did a lot of reviews. Did a lot of reviews, got a lot of stuff for YouTube, and here I am. We're going to get started today with the review of a wrestling show that was done in 2002. No, it's not TNA because they were barely getting started, and it was not WWE because their reviews in those years were subpar, except for, for like one, maybe one or two. Today, we are reviewing something that I don't think I reviewed yet. I might have, but I don't. I don't think so. Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, unscripted, remastered, September 21st, 2002, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, let's get started. There were six matches, as well as a tag team title tournament. So there's a lot of stuff on the card. So stick with me. It's a pretty damn good show in in some parts. So the first match was Christopher Daniels and Donovan Morgan versus the SAT. This match was to say the least, just a a trampoline for Daniels and Morgan to jump off of because Daniels prophesied all night long that they were going to win the tournament and all the gold were going to be in their hands. So it was, a, it was a good match, but very short. 3.5 out of 5. I mean, SAT, they were good tag team. They looked like the Usos, but you could just tell that Daniels and Morgan were going to win because if they weren't going to win, then what's the purpose of the, of the, of the promos all night, you know? The next match was Iko sorry if I'm pronouncing wrong. Ikoto Hidaka and Deke Togo versus James Maritato and Tony Mamaluke. James Maritato is non deal. This match was just it was a fast paced match, combos all around, but it was mainly to tell the story of Nunzio and Tony Mamaluke's downfall because the match was short, it was fast paced though, but as soon as the match ends we go into Nunzio versus Mamaluke because they're not getting along. Dick Togo and Igutu Hadaka won the match. You know, fair and square. After the match, after the tag team match, they go right into the singles. Weapons used. It was a street fight. It was really short though, but they consolidated two matches into one basically. You could tell. Nunzio was busting open. Mamaluke was being the heel, so he's being nasty. And then. Low blow to three, out of nowhere, Mamaluke gets the win, and then when Nunzio's down after the match, Mamaluke forces Nunzio's hand to do a handshake. So, there's your heel for you. Um, the next match, that match was a 2.5 out of 5. I mean, the tag team match leading up to it was was better, in my opinion, than what it, what it was leading up to. So, there's your... The next match was Quiet Storm, which is a weird name for a tag team, I don't know what they were thinking, versus American Dragon, which was Daniel Bryan, and Mike Modest. Now, um, Daniel Bryan was supposed to team up with Paul London, but I forgot what happened, but Paul London decided to fight um, uh, Michael Shane instead because they were feuding, you know, so instead he picked Mike Modest. Handshake starts with the match, all is well. There was a nice submission chain. Massive crazy forearms by Mike Modest. He was very, looked very strong in this match. This match was stiff. Stiff as a, I don't know what to compare stiff to, but it was stiff. You could see the chests were getting red, the the, 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 the strikes, you know. It was crazy. This match was basically to hype up, to hype up Daniel Bryan and uh, Mike Modest because they were, because Daniel Bryan had the promo right at the beginning of the event. Oh man, we got we got to go through this fast. It's got a lot of stuff. Um, three point three out of five, pretty good match, but it was just to hype up Daniel Bryan and Mike Myers. The Hit Squad versus Natural Born Sinners, but these two big strong guys that were not invited in the tournament come out and and kill. Like not literally, but they beat up natural born sinners. They hit them with chairs. They make them bleed, and now it's just that match is done. 
the next match was to, 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 to go up to the tournament was Iguto Hadaka and Tik Togo who beats Tony Mamaluke Nunzio versus Daniels and Donovan Morgan Donovan Morgan looks like Mike Myers once the match in the future starts fast at first it's still pretty fast throughout the whole match there were dirty tactics used by Christy Benjos and Mike Mo and uh, Donovan Morgan obviously their heels slow it up finally the match goes very, it goes quite long um it was this match was also stiff the fans were going nuts and you could tell though that Daniels and Morgan were going to win because Daniels was, was still prophesizing his nickname was a prophecy so Thus, they win. The match was pretty good. Four at four through four through four point out five out of five. Man, that took a long way to say. But yeah, it was a pretty good match. But you could tell they were they were going up. The next match was Dunn and Marcus versus Prince Nana and Alex Arion. But it turns out to be just one part: Alex Arion versus Dunn, because Prince Nana. He comes out with the with the helmet. He's like selling his concussion from the last event. Nothing to say here because it was just a squash match for Prince Nana's monster Alex Arion. He beats Dunn in one second. It was it was a one out of five in my opinion. I mean it was it was a squash match basically. The next match we had was Christopher Street Connection with Allison Danger and Japanese Pole Boy. It was the gay couple with the Japanese pool boy. I don't know what the hell Ring of Honor was thinking back then because it was a, it was a really crazy gimmick for them. They're all about honor, you know, and strong men, you know. Mickey James comes in and starts beating on all of them. I don't know it. She just comes in, and starts beating up all of them. He beat, she beats up pool boy. I feel bad for pool boy. No match. That's it. Now, the match, one of the best matches on the card. The Ring of Honor title match. Loki versus Xavier. There was slow, stiff strikes. Slow, stiff strikes in the match. It was amazing. Uh, Loki, I mean, he's a good wrestler and all, but he no sells so many times. This match is unbelievable. He doesn't sell anything. He just comes back with a smile. Nasty strikes, nasty grapples, body to body suplexes, you know. It was more strikes than anything this match, tell you the truth. We come to the end of the match. They're both tired. They're both weak. Daniels comes out. He doesn't interfere. But he gets Loki's attention. Loki goes out. Tries to beat up Daniels. But Xavier. It's revealed that he's aligned with Daniels. Xavier gets one of these things out of the crowd. That holds the crowd barriers together. It's like a pole with concrete on the bottom. To hold the barriers of the crowd together. He takes this. And he pushes it into Loki's chest so hard Loki ends up choking up blood I don't know if it's real or not it looks pretty real but this match was excellent I would have given it a 5 out of 5 if it wasn't for Daniels interfering but that was still in the night so it was 4 out of 5 one of the best matches on the card that night um so and uh, as well Xavier does win so Xavier does win the Ring of Honor t title so Prophecy already has one of the one of the three titles in the night this match was the up the next match was not part of the tournament it was Takio Omori versus Sonny Siaki I mean they're both big men so you're not gonna get much out of the match Sonny Siaki they, they referenced a million's passing by look at that they referenced him as a flying elves from TNA so it was pretty funny um they're both powerful, tall, big men. It was a slow match, but the finishers were... were Sonny uh, Takio Omori does his finish on Satsuki. It's like a backwards pile driver mixed with a pedigree. It was really cool. 2.5 out of 5. I mean, except for the finisher, it was so-so. CM Punk comes out. He does a promo. Uh, Cole Cabana comes out. They both do a promo about how next event... They would... Excuse me. I think CM Punk. I think CM Punk's injured, so they're hyping up next the next event. This next match was pretty awesome as well. You had Jay Briscoe versus Amazing Red. Now Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe wants to manage 
amazing where because Jay Briscoe and Mark Briscoe are having a few they're both very young in this event both very young this match was basically tall versus small but it was a very good match the beginning of the match is good and friendly but by the end it's really stiff and competing Jay Briscoe finally wins they were selling that he hadn't won a match yet so he finally wins and by a sunset flip powerbomb, powerbomb off the top rope it was amazing it was not a long match but it was a great match so I rated it a 4.5 out of 5 to tell you the truth I don't know why I rated it a, why I didn't rate it a 5 out of 5 but it was a great match great match the next match was oh yeah wow look at that two more matches to go that's it I'm pretty good going pretty fast Michael Shane versus Paul London now this match was amazing this match was I rated it a 4.5 out of 5 you should see why this was a street fight Paul London was very young it was amazing there was ladders there was crazy spots it was brutal you know flip over top rope back into chair that's Paul London's holding on the outside of the ring it hits him in the face the chair ends up hitting him in the face crazy crazy Michael Shane, uh, was it? Yeah, Michael Shane tries to flip into the ring, but as soon as he from the ropes, he flips into the ring. Paul London spears him, hits into ropes. It was amazing. Paul London busted open. Michael Shane busted open. Even after an elbow drop off the off the ladder onto Michael Shane, it's still two commentators in this match. Even though it's a crazy match, they're both so calm. It's like, could you please scream off the top of your lungs? It's an amazing match. There was a shooting star press to end the match. From uh, Paul Lundell and Michael Shane. Off the, the tallest ladder they, they could possibly find this match. It was amazing. They went to the crowd. It was an amazing match. But the thing that didn't give me a five was at the end of the match, they're both hugging, they're both handshaking, you know, you think it's good and all. Shane, as soon as Paul London turned around, Shane bounces off the ropes. Close line from hell to Paul London. I mean, if you're going to go all the way and have that such a good match, I know you're trying to hype up the heel, make him look more eviler, if that's even a word. But, uh, bring it all the way. Have them handshake and that's it. I mean, he, I know he's a heel, but don't ruin the match. The last match of the night was... Daniel Bryan, American Dragon, and Michael Modest versus Christopher Daniels and Donovan New Morgan. Now, this match was good. It was very good. Normal pace at start. The ring sounds broken halfway through the match, but they still go on. This Donovan Morgan in this match, he loved the ring barrier. He loved the ring metal gates. He kept throwing people. He kept throwing them into it so many times. The commentators point this out and say, like, he just has to against the ring barriers. It's crazy. Uh, Christopher Daniels and Donovan Morgan win the match. Now, here's my complaint. I only rated it 3 out of 5 because Christopher Daniels and Donovan Morgan, they cheat to it. They, 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 they put their two legs. Daniels, I think, he puts his two legs on the back rope. One, two, three, done. Because of this, Daniel Bryan and Michael Modest, they get the, tr it's a, it's a trophy, it's not titles, it's, it's, because it's the first, it's the first, uh, tournament for the tag team titles, it's the first time tag team titles are being incorporated into Ring of Honor, so they're not getting titles yet, they're getting a trophy. Bryan and Modest completely destroy the trophy, because they're so upset, because Daniel, uh, Christopher Daniels used the ropes to win. Now tell me, you're having a tournament all night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight teams. And you just go ahead and make Daniels and Morgan cheat to win the last match. And you have Daniel and you have Daniel Bryan and Michael Myers completely annihilate the trophies. They're like you could sweep it up with with a with a broomstick. You know? I mean now let's get to the get to my notes at the end 
We had one, two, three, four, five. We had six matches plus the tag team title tournament. Paul London versus Michael Shannon was amazing. Jay Briscoe versus Amazing Wagon was was an awesome match. Loki versus Xavier was an awesome match, except for the ending, as well as the Paul London street fight. The tag team title tournament. I know they needed it for their tag team titles, but they could have ended it a lot better. So you basically had three matches. Four matches were excellent on this card. There was look at the see, see better. This was an ex. This was a the whole show. I would say, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10, somewhere between an 8 and an 8.5. Now this is new for Westworld. Now this is new for me. For the first time ever, because I watched it and reviewed it, I'm selling it to you people on YouTube if you want it. It's ten dollars shipped anywhere in the U.S. Ten dollars ship means the postage price is in the selling price. So it's actually seven, eight dollars to get on the shipping. So if anyone wants it, send me a message on YouTube and we'll I'll arrange it. Mint condition, the plastic excuse me. The you could still I know I'm sniffing DVD keys, I'm going nuts today. But the the you would still smell like I bought this two years ago. And I haven't, I didn't watch it till a few days ago. So it's in mint condition. Look at this. It's amazing. It's amazing. No crazy, no nothing. So if you want a ten dollars shipped anywhere in the U.S. So many more wrestling reviews coming. Many more movie reviews coming. This is the summer now. I'm going nuts with the videos. So check back. A few days. I don't know. Maybe, maybe even tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Westworld sell out. Peace. See you later.